It is a pleasure introducing Lord's International as manufacturers of cricket balls, one of the largest producers in the world of cricket. Our made balls are used in almost all the cricket playing countries around the globe. Making cricket balls for British conditions is a technical job. The weather conditions change constantly, dry or wet, and the balls have to be suitable for all the different playing conditions. The technology to manufacture for British conditions has been mastered by Lords International. Lords International manufacture over 150,000 cricket balls every year of different grades which are being used all over the cricket playing world. Over 90 years of ball manufacturing experience is invested in our company. We take extra care in the selection of the leather, materials and pay special attention to the polish and finish to make the cricket ball suitable for British playing conditions. Our top grade cricket balls are made from English materials sent abroad to our factory for stitching and they are finally checked and finished in the UK under rigorous quality control procedures. At any time, we carry over 7,500 cricket balls of various grades for immediate availability. We would like to introduce the different stages in manufacture. First of all, the leather is selected, graded, dyed and then softened to the required standard. The cricket ball centres are handmade with multi-layers of New Zealand wool and Portuguese cork. The centres are seasoned for over a year for perfection. The cortex centres are also used. The leather is cut into four pieces to make a cricket ball. First two pieces are stitched together and they are shaped into halves. The two halves are put together with the other components of a cricket ball and are weighed together so that finally the required weight of the cricket ball is achieved. In the first set there are over 80 hand stitches to join the two halves together. The thread is 18 strand waxed finished. The next step is seam stitching. Two rows of hand stitches done by a highly qualified stitcher whose skill has been acquired over years of practice. In total, a cricket ball has over 600 stitches. The balls are then hand polished and left for drying. Sometimes three or four coats of polish are used. Once the polish is dry, the balls are hand stamped individually. At every step, the quality of the ball is tested. There are different testing procedures used at different stages. Roundness of the ball. The ball is put into a roundness checking apparatus. Hardness. The cricket ball is checked for its hardness using high-tech apparatus. Anti-scuff abrasive test. The finished leather is tested for anti-scuff qualities before the manufacture of the cricket ball and also checked for its abrasiveness. Bounce test. The cricket balls are also tested for bounce, which is a requirement of British standards. The ball has to fall from 2 meters and bounce between the given parameters. Lords International has acquired the Kite Mark for Test and County Standards for their Imperial Test and County Crown Cricket Ball. Lords International's Regal County Crown Cricket Ball has also been awarded the British Standard Kite Mark for a League Standard Ball. Lords Cricket Balls invite you to contact us for any information on our different qualities of cricket balls which can be found in our cricket ball catalogue and we will be pleased to discuss individual requirements of your league along with sponsorship.